Good morning, everyone. They said my name a couple times today. I'm, I'm Ryan Hoskinson. First, I'd just like to say thank you again to everybody for being here. Uh, most of you don't even know Max Fortuna, and you're all here supporting the Stockton Fire Department and the Fortuna family. So thank you very much for being here. Chief Johnson and Chief Edwards, they already said it all. They, they, took, they took it all from me. They, they pretty much summed up, summed up Max for you. He was definitely holier than most of us. He loved his family very much. And he was a very, very, very proud fireman. Um, I worked with Max for the, for the last 10 years. What's up? Oh, no, I'm good. Yeah, yeah. Give me a little room. Give me room. Give me room. Give me room. Give me room. Come on. Come on. Jeez, please. Max wouldn't like that. Um, I drove, I drove for Maxi for seven years um, on engine two. You heard engine two a bunch today. I really don't want to sugarcoat the whole thing, but uh, it's pretty much engine two or nothing. So Maxi was about engine two. Um, yeah, I don't have a speech or anything. I, I couldn't put this into words, so I just figured I'd just come up here and just tell you a little bit more about Max, um, which I've done with everybody here all week. Uh, I got so many good stories about him. Some of them are just some goofy things he did at the firehouse and other times are about goofy things he did somewhere else. Max was, Max liked to have fun. Uh, everybody's talked about his uh, seriousness. Um, Max was very mischievous. You see, Max would get to work in the morning and he'd be up, up, up the tricks right out of the gate, you know? The second Max would get out of his truck in the morning, you didn't know what was gonna happen. He might throw something at you, he might drop some stuff on the ground. He did a lot of silly things, but every time he was around, you felt good. Max loved playing handball at the firehouse. It's kind of like the highlight of a lot of the shifts. And uh, one of my favorite things about, you know, the daytime with Max is that everything in the morning was business just so we could hurry back, you know, to get back for lunch early, get into our handball game, get our PT in. And a lot of guys that play with Max, remember Max was a great commentator too. Even if you win or lose, he liked to commentate the game and everybody else. And by commenting, I, I mean, every time somebody else made a mistake, he liked to make fun of them and laugh at them. And, and, and he made us all laugh too when he did that. Um, Max would take a couple of games to warm up and then he'd, he'd always had this little sidearm fade away fist. It was like, he was like 500 with that, which is Hall of Fame numbers. At twos, it wasn't that great, but Maxie loved it. We loved to see Maxie whack that thing like that. Um, Max didn't have any enemies in the fire department. There's nobody he didn't like. Uh, some people, he had high standards, and he really liked the guys that were able to meet those standards. The guys that didn't meet those standards, he just found a way to let those guys know tactfully that they weren't there yet and that he'd be more than happy to help get them there. And he did it in different ways. So he teased some of them, and that's how you knew he liked you. If he teased you a lot, he probably didn't like you as much, but he still teased you. And if he teased you even more than that, then you're probably not here anymore now, so thank you. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, in, in regards to it, Max being a leader, you heard all these things about Max being a leader. So you see, Max is right here, you get it? He can hear us. He loved everything about the fire service, but more than anybody, Max, he loved going to fires. 
we get in that rig and uh, we take off like crazy. He loved coming out of the barn quick on a fire. And not one time did Max ever say slow down. He was willing to risk it all, knowing that he might get there and make a difference. We went to a lot of good fires and we went to a lot of fires with everybody out here. Over this week, everybody's told a story about a fire when they were with Max and he did something that was just amazing. Uh, I loved, loved, loved going to a fire with Max. And I think my favorite, I think my favorite thing Max used to say, which you don't get to say all the time was, just hold off on the repeat. And Max, he said, hold off on the repeat, right? Everybody knew, right? You got a working fire here, we're getting close and Max, he's there. And uh, we're driving quick and Max, he told everybody, no, hold off on the repeat. And I just, I'm driving, not paying attention and maybe looking at Max, just watching him, you know, admiring Maxi over there and yeah, he was smooth. And then we get there and he never once time, he never, never, never once, he, he was never once, never once afraid. Not afraid at all. And when you follow Max, you weren't afraid either. You trusted him, you followed him, and he, he let, never let us astray. Yeah, he was great. Hey, Max, he's great. There's no way that I'll ever be Max like him, as good as him, and nor will anybody else here. But we're gonna try hard. I'm gonna try hard the whole time to be as good as you, Maxie. I think in conclusion, um, Max loved the Stockton Fire Department and he loved Company 2, he loved Engine 2. Until the very end, he was kicking ass like he always did, every single time. Maxie, we're gonna honor you forever, and we're gonna honor you in many ways. Anybody here that knew Max, worked a day with Max, we're all so lucky to have those memories. To honor Max, let's just keep sharing these stories, talking about how great Max was. I never, want, I never wanted to let Max down, so I always worked as hard as I could to make him proud. And I'm happy now because Max knows that we love him. We know Max loves us. And Max will always be with us. We got you, Max.